right now before I head out for my workout. I thought we could spend the day together doing girl therapy, just a full day of girl therapy. I need it, you need it, so let's do it together. To me, girl therapy is not just treating ourselves to whatever, but it's also holding ourselves accountable, being disciplined to do the things that we've told ourselves to do because we have goals to achieve for 2024. I'm currently doing a 50 day hard. If you haven't watched my 50 day hard vlogs you need to i vlog every week of my 50 day hard process part of the 50 hard challenge is that i need to wake up before seven work out journal read and eat intuitively and no alcohol and so just because we're having a day of girl therapy does not mean we get to just stray away from our routines we need to stay on track and stay disciplined and then we can also treat ourselves because we deserve it hope you join me in this little girl therapy vlog and let's go get our workout in <music> piece of PR I've ever received. I talked about this in a previous vlog, but it's a two-in-one hair styler. So the first setting that I was using to like flatten my hair is the blow dry setting. There's like air that like comes out through the straightener. So it's blow drying my hair while straightening it. I just put it on the shine shot setting where it turns into just the straightener. And like, look at how, look at that movement. I'm impressed. This took maybe 15 minutes. Then of course we need to put our Kerastase elixir. This stuff is literally liquid gold. Oh, it smells so good. Hair is done. Now let's go do our makeup. I moved to the floor because lately I've been doing my makeup on the floor like right in front of my windows because the lighting is just a lot better. Anyways, we are just getting ready for the day. I have to go down to the strip and film a collaboration with Caesars Palace Mall, like the forum shops. And I'm so freaking excited because I love Caesars Palace and I also love like the shops in there. So I was super stoked when they told me that they wanted to collaborate with me. I was like, duh. And I also want to shop around because we are doing girl therapy today. And I definitely want to treat myself to some items. And then I'm also getting my nails done with my sister, which this is long overdue. I am growing out a ton. Got some Lancome PR and I kind of want to try a few things. They sent over this sunscreen foundation, a mascara, concealer, eyeliner. I should have tried this. Three of these like tinted sunscreens and then their iconic Juicy Tubes lip gloss. I don't know if this is my shade. Oh, it's very thin. Mm. Let me do a comparison with my usual 
Mm. Okay, this is a little bit too dark. Oh, wait, wait a minute. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Is this my shade? Okay, I think it might be a bit dark, but it doesn't look horrible. You know what I mean? I feel like it matches. So, you know what? We're just gonna do it. If I hate it, I'll take it off. It feels like skincare. It doesn't feel like foundation at all. And it's a plus that it has SPF, so we love that. I think I wanna try their concealer as well. This is the concealer that went viral on TikTok for like a year. It's their Taint Idol Ultra Wear All Over Concealer. I'm gonna try just a little bit and see what it looks like. Okay, I don't hate it. It looks so much more like gray toned in the bottle than on my skin. So I think that's my match. What the heck? In the tube, it's deceiving. So now that we know that that's my concealer shade, I'm gonna do bronzer before I do like a full concealer moment. I'm gonna try the Dibs Beauty bronzer and it's like a blush and a bronzer stick. So we have blush on this side and we have bronzer on this side and i sent over this brush as well as this powder blush so i am so we're just trying a full new makeup routine today Ooh, that is like butter it's blending in so freaking well this new makeup is working out really well so far i'm gonna try the other end of the dibs beauty stick so i'm gonna warm it up first this is very pink well wow, i am dibs beauty's new fan this is like the cutest baby pink blush ever oh my gosh it's a yes for me dibs beauty is just killing it now i'm gonna use the dibs beauty baked blush duo i'm gonna take the fluffier end okay so now i found my new favorite blush ever and that's the beat i'm just gonna do a few more finishing touches I'm obsessed with this new makeup. I'm so glad it turned out well and nothing was like bad. My skin feels so good right now. It doesn't feel like there's a lot of product. Now let's go get dressed. This is the outfit I decided to go with. This top is from Intimacy Me. It's like a sheer top. And then jeans are from the brand Girlfriend from Revolve. And I'm wearing my Tony Bianco boots, bag from Anthropology, my little Amazon teardrop earrings. up my collab at Caesars Palace and we walked around shopped obviously I had to go into Aritzia and we made a stop at YSL and I was like okay I kind of want to check out their new winter collection of the things that they had out and then we were just like trying things on I absolutely loved how that bracelet looked to my boyfriend so I bought it for him for Valentine's Day and I'm just a little bit confused because I thought this was girl therapy day but it's fine I'm just in the mood for giving but nonetheless, it looked so good on him and I thought, you know, why not? It's a Valentine's Day collab with Caesars Palace to show the shops over there. And it's even more authentic now because I actually bought something for my boyfriend for Valentine's Day. So, he has a sweet little treat. And all I got at YSL was a free Perrier, but that's fine. We're gonna head out and get some lunch because I am starving and we're craving some Mexican food, so. We're gonna go eat some lunch. Just got home and I wanted to do a little haul of what I got. First from Aritzia, I just got this white workout zip up. It's kind of cropped. I only have a black one from Lululemon and I've always wanted this white one. This is in their butter line and their butter line is so immaculate. It's so good. This was really cute and simple 
and it'll be really nice to just throw over when I'm like heading out to my workout classes. And then Miss YSL. YSL is my favorite designer brand of all time. This is for my boyfriend, as I mentioned. The box is always so adorable. Comes with a little dust bag, as it should. I just got him that silver. Ugh, it's just so good. I wanted to get a matching one, but I just like wasn't planning on spending that much money today. So I was like, you know what? I'm good. It's unisex, so it looks really good on both of us. And I was dying. Like this immediately caught my eye when we walked into the store. My boyfriend doesn't love loud clothing or loud jewelry in general. And so this immediately caught my eye because I think he looks best with silver jewelry. Um, I love the little tie knot detail this kind of reminds me of like the tiffany and co necklace like the statement necklace you know what i mean and he really liked it because it didn't show the ysl like logo on it it's not loud at all it does say saint laurent right there in very very small writing so you can't even tell that it's designer and i think that's why he really loved it but it looks so cute Ugh. i think i might get a matching one eventually because it's so cute that is his little valentine's day present and to me this is still girl therapy because i'm buying something for the person i love and i love giving gifts so this just really spoke to me and he loved it and that just makes my heart happy <laughs> Are you kidding me? Gagged, completely gagged. So my intent was to do like a dark red, dark red brown-ish type of vibe. But then I was like scrolling on Pinterest and I found a set that I just fell in love with. And so I left the nail salon with these. Are you kidding me? They're perfect. The tips are like a light pink and then the bow itself is white. It's just kind of like contrast. And then they put a little crystal in the middle of it i'm obsessed i've always wanted girly nails like this and i'm so glad that i did it like i have no regrets from changing what i wanted and it's perfect because it's like kind of like valentine's -y, like girly but it's not over the top valentine's you know like i don't like valentine's day nails if we're being completely honest but i do love a nice baby pink and the bow with the crystal my nail tech kills it every single time. The next part of girl therapy is just unwinding for the night, taking our time, getting in bed early so that we can wake up early and have a great week ahead because we're still on our discipline grind. We're not just using this day to just a lollygag. I'm gonna take off my makeup and hop in the shower. <laughs> p.m. I'm gonna start winding down and just watch a few of my favorite like youtubers YouTube videos and then I'm gonna start the last book of the throne of glass series I honestly just call it a night I need to wake up early tomorrow because I'm starting week four of my 50 day hard I had such a great girl therapy day and I really hope you guys enjoyed tagging along definitely we'll definitely do more in the future a day like this was so needed and I feel like I did everything that I really loved doing like going to a good workout getting dressed up doing makeup getting my nails done this was literally just the cherry on top seeing my sister and hanging out with my boyfriend and going shopping like that is just a top tier day to me so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this little girl therapy vlog and i will see you in my next video